What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 12 in the third grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that Amy has this poster and she has shaded this big part here and this little part here, and we're supposed to figure out what fraction of the area of this poster is shaded. Now the two big skills that this question will test us on are equivalent fractions and adding fractions that have the same denominator. All right, so I'm going to start by recognizing that this poster seems to be cut into two halves. One half is split into four pieces, the other half is just here. So this left part that's shaded in is one half, and the right part that's shaded in is one something. So in order to actually figure out what that something is that would be the denominator of this fraction, I'm gonna go ahead and imagine what would happen if I split this piece, or this part of the poster here into four pieces. And you probably can't see too well but I actually split this up just like this one over here into one, two, three, four pieces. And so now that I have this big piece split up into four little pieces, I can actually count that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total little pieces. Counting the fact that I split this um, big piece into four. So that means that this part over here is 1 8th. And now um, I can use an equivalent fractions trick or I can just count here to say that 1 half this whole piece right here is the same thing as 1, 2, 3, 4 of these shaded pieces out of 8 in the total diagram. So my left part of the poster represents 4 eighths. My right part of the poster represents 1 eighth. I can add 4 eighths to 1 eighth these four parts plus this one part, and that is going to give me the, um, the total area of the poster that's been shaded. And now whenever I add two fractions like this that have the same denominator, I'm actually going to think about this like I'm adding four inches plus one inch. This is actually going to give me five, but it's still going to be inches. So I use the same word as I keep going um, down this uh, quick addition problem with inches because inches is what I'm using to measure. And whenever we look at fractions, it's very easy and very helpful to think of our denominator as something that we're using to measure. So 4 eighths plus 1 eighth. 4 plus 1 is 5, and that's still eighths. Just like 4 inches plus 1 inch equals 5 inches. So I got 5 eighths from this problem, and that matches my answer of D. So there we go. D is my answer.